Hello, welcome to the Millionaire Woman Show, where we'll be discussing leadership, business, and human potential, inspiring you to live rich from the inside out. Unlock your creativity, stretch out of your comfort zone, break through your barriers, take inspired action, and achieve epic results. Now, here's your host, two-time best-selling author, speaker, and certified executive coach, Deborah Kosowski. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Millionaire Woman Show, where we talk about principles of leadership, business, and human potential. I'm your host, Deborah Kosowski, and so glad to join you today. Today is about stop. No excuses allowed. George Washington Carver said, 99% of the failures come from people who have the habit of making excuses. One habit you're going to want to break free of is the habit of making excuses. Excuses are that long litany of reasons or rationale as to why you did not take action or do what you say you were going to do. Excuses defend your behaviors, and when you fall on excuses, you're avoiding taking ownership of your life and responsibility for the outcomes and results you want to get. It always seems to be someone else's fault why you're not getting the results that you want. You play the victim, and you can claim that your situation is different than everyone else's, and no one understands what you're going through. Excuses are a way of avoiding reality and looking in the mirror. Does this sound like you? If you catch yourself making excuses, stop right there. Do you want different results? Yes? You need to start taking 100% responsibility for your results. That means no excuses allowed. You will find a way to figure it out. If you need to ask for help, you will ask. The excuses you are making tend to be because of fear. Yes, that's right, fear. And there is a payoff for not taking action. Some of the most common fears that you'll see is fear of success, fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of uncertainty, fear of responsibility, and fear of change. Your fears hold you back from what you really want. And if you allow your fears to take hostage, you cannot experience success. Your passion for what you want needs to be greater than your fear for you to step into your potential. When your fear is greater than your passion, you make bad judgments. You lack self-confidence to take responsibility for taking charge of your life. And you may even live with some regret. Start by taking a look at the excuses that you are making and what are they? Not sure? Listen to some of these excuse starters. I'm sure you've heard some of these. I don't have enough time. I don't have enough education or I'm not smart enough. It's not the right time. I don't feel like it or I'm not inspired to do it. I do not know how to get started or how to do it. I'm too old. I'm too young. I do not have the money. Challenge your excuses. Are you making excuses or do you have a real reason for something not turning out as you wished? We all have the same amount of time in a day. It all depends on how you allocate that time that you have available. You can learn new information by researching and reading, watching YouTube videos, taking a course, asking others who have already done what you want to do. You can also learn new information from books and going to conferences. Think about where do you prioritize your money? There is a tendency to focus your money on where you feel it is important. Can you find a way to change your priorities to the money you have assigned? When you feel it's not the right time, you will note that there is a lack of resources, information, and confidence even in your abilities. When age is the excuse, it's due to a lack of confidence. Whether you feel it, like it or not, you do need to do it. Otherwise, you will always have a reason for not getting the results that you want. Focus on the here and now. 
this is how we're going to start getting rid of those excuses. Focus on the here and now. What is in your control? You can't change the past because it's already happened. You can't go back in time and change all your interactions. So let's move forward. Stop comparing your situation to others. Don't worry about what others are doing. Everyone has their own journey and they also have different passions than you. Avoid comparing your situation or circumstance with others. What I also want you to start doing is focusing on solutions and opportunities. The more you start looking at problems, you start putting up your own little roadblocks and that resistance comes up. So look at solutions, look for opportunities of ways to move forward. And look at your situation from different perspectives, different angles. Sometimes if we see things from a different angle, and that's what I do as a coach, is I offer people to, ways to challenge their assumptions, looking at different angles of a situation so they don't get stuck in a rut and can really push themselves through to the other side. And tap into those strengths. You have many. You are more talented and capable than you give yourself credit for. So really start looking at ways that you can tap into your strengths and utilize those to push through those excuses that you've been using. You'll find a way. Remember, no excuses allowed. Excuses do not allow you to move ahead or grow in the process. And one of the quotes that I came across that is just so, so fitting is Dr. Wayne Dyer, the late Wayne Dyer. Phenomenal gentleman. If you have passion, there is no need for excuses because your enthusiasm will trump any negative reasoning that you come up with. Enthusiasm makes excuses a non-issue. So thinking about the excuses are you making, are, is it because you lack passion, perseverance, determination? Because if you want something bad enough, you will find a way to get there. Keep putting in the work and listen to the podcast to help get you through those tougher times because we know that you're going to get to the other side and success is going to be there waiting for you. I also wanted to announce that my book, Let's Be Curious, is on Amazon.com, on Amazon.ca, and at some of the local bookstores here in Alberta. And grab your copy. It's a way for you to start asking the right questions, getting better answers, so you can make the decisions that help you create what you want in life, your business, in your leadership style. Don't hesitate. This is a game-changing book. It helps people quit beating around the bush and really going after what they really want. I would love for you to subscribe to my success newsletter on my website. Go to www.debrakazowski.com. And I have a brand new ebook there for you. With a, and it's the 21 Habits High Achievers Kick to Achieve Success. And I'd love to hear how this podcast has impacted you. As you know, we've dropped down to one day a week for just temporarily um, because of the book and all the excitement brewing around that. So um, not to fear, we will go back up to two days a week here in a short time period. And thank you for listening to The Millionaire Woman Show. I'd love for you to go over to iTunes, write us a review, give us a five-star high five, and share this with your colleagues and friends. You never know whose life you are going to change by sharing some knowledge that you have. As Mahama Gandhi said, go out and be the change you wish to see in the world. And my wish for you, as always, is go out and make today great. And remember, stop. No excuses allowed. Have a great day.